So you think the symphony is about wearing bow ties to a stuffy concert? Well, you don't know the Omaha Symphony. Many of their shows are meant to make music accessible. The Family Series is a perfect example. And this Sunday, the concert hall will turn into a musical playground. So let's talk about Thomas's adventures in music. T. Adam Goss and narrator extraordinaire, <laughs> Dave Weird. <laughs> here he is. Uh, my bow tie in home. Yeah, good call. I I have one. <laughs> So what is the story of uh, Tubby the Tuba here? Oh, well, I might let Dave do that because he's going to be telling it. It's a really fantastic story, uh -huh. though. It really is. Um, it, what's the song? It, I grew up with records. My parent gave me a record player. <laughs> and that, that, that seeded everything. Um, and I had a record Danny Kaye narrated. I should go back to the beginning. A week after Pearl Harbor was... Um, uh, after Pearl Harbor was, what's the word I'm looking for? We happened. <laughs> it happened. Yeah. It happened. Yeah. And I spit all over my pants. Um, <laughs> Paul Tripp and George Klein, Kleinsinger? Kleinsinger. Yep. Kleinsinger had a, their ver very first performance of this piece that they wrote. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, they were thanking the, the orchestra. And then the tuba guy, uh, the man who played the tuba, said, You know, tubas can sing too. Mm -hmm. And Paul Tripp went home and said, I'm going to write. And he wrote Tubby the Tuba that night. Uh for the tuba. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those timeless stories about someone finding their own gift and their own specialness. And uh, when you hear it, it stays in your mind. The melody, I think Adam will agree, the melody is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I, and um, uh, everybody, Meredith Vieira has, uh, Julia Child has, has done a version with the Boston mm -hmm. Pops. And yeah. it's just survived all these since 1945. Mm -hmm. What kind of music will we hear? Uh, you know, the concert has tons of accessible music. It's mm -hmm. so great. A lot of really great classical favorites. Uh, Thomas calls the concert his Music on the Moves concert. So mm -hmm. it's all about music that moves us emotionally, moves us physically. So there's lots of fast dance stuff, and there's some very beautiful melodies that are in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that really all kind of fits around this tubby that tuba, um, this tuba instrument playing this wonderful melody. And that's kind of what the story is around, too. You never get to hear the tuba do these really great melodies, right? It's usually just boom, boom, yeah. boom, yeah. boom. <laughs> and so it's this wonderful orchestral joke because we get to bring this tuba out front, which you never see the tuba no, out in front of never. the orchestra yeah. ever. Um, and plays this beautiful melody. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just this really timeless tale about this, this tuba in the orchestra mm -hmm. who all the violins laugh at. Mm -hmm. at the beginning, you know, yeah, at the beginning, nice finding this melody and, and playing with it. How many kids can relate to that story, though, of oh, feeling it's so, like. It's so great being the outsider, the back, but then. Yeah. Well, he goes your and own. sits by on a log and thinks about actually it's a suicide, is what the, the, oh. the lyrics refer to. I know, but that you, you have to be really uh, shrink to get that. But, uh, and this. This frog sings the song, and Tubby says, oh, that's a beautiful mm -hmm. song. And Tubby said, can I sing your song? And he goes back to the orchestra, and they are all, they all want to sing Tubby's song. Mm -hmm. The thing about um, uh, the, the tuba is when I, I did this, I narrated this years and years ago when uh, maestro Tom Bruschetti was <laughs> orchestra conductor. This was in the 80s, I think. And Craig Fuller was the uh, tubist, and Craig is playing again oh. Sunday. Our principal tuba player, yeah. And it's wonderful. It's one of those melodies that he plays all the time and even our orchestra now, he was telling me the other day that he'll play it and our, our orchestra members will be like, what, what is that melody what you're oh, playing? What did you just play? Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, well, that's Tubby the Tuba. Oh. Yeah, what so age group are we talking about here? I mean, younger you know, kids, I mean, adults like this too? I mean, Oh, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, our family concerts are really for all ages and especially Thomas's family concerts. That, mm -hmm. that man is magic. Can we give him some props here? Oh, what absolutely. What is it about him with this family series? that works so you well. You know, I have been trying to figure that out with Thomas mm -hmm. for the last several years, mm -hmm. but well, I he tell makes you. Everything so accessible is what I get. Mm -hmm. He just talks, people talk. Yeah. You but know, he doesn't talk up here. Yeah, there's things that happen in, in the lobby too. I mean, he brings it out to people. I mean, you oh, guys bring yes. it out to people and yeah. you make it accessible. Yeah. It's an event. Well, and it's great. If you come beforehand uh, to the lobbies, you'll get to play some of the instruments. We have an instrument petting zoo, as mm -hmm. we always do, which is a lot <laughs> yeah. of fun. So we won't have a tuba out there, unfortunately. I tried to get one. Uh, but you'll get to try your hand at the violins and, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the other brass instruments. We're also doing a new thing in the lobby. It's called Talk to Musicians. So our musicians are usually on the stage warming up prior to the concert. But mm -hmm. kids are going to be able to Skype and talk one-to-one -one with the musician oh. from the lobby to the stage. What, mm -hmm. what kinds of questions? Because I think this would be a great exercise for parents before they come to the concert to say, we've got this opportunity. What do you want to talk about with the musicians? Plant a few seeds of questions oh, you well, think would be 
would be great for They should them. absolutely ask them about um, what their favorite music is, because mm -hmm. it won't always be what's going to be played on the stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I think asking them questions about how they came to be a musician is great. Um, also, what they like about their job the most. Um, it's a fantastic, you know, opportunity to get to chat with them. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, what's your favorite food and your favorite color? Those yeah. are fun <laughs> questions, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Macaroni and blue. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, uh, your your narration voice. Have you pinned this down? Well, I mean, I, well he's got you several different kind of characters. He, you've got a you've yeah. got a voice, right? I, 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 I yeah. Can I, you give it, us one I do get to do all the. Well, the the frog is, and I got this from the Danny Kay. Is lovely evening, boy, boy, lovely evening. You know, and then there's Peepo the piccolo, who is the best friend of Tubby. And Tubby's just this sad, lovely, airy voice, you know, how alone am I, <laughs> me and I together. It's Do you just, think he loves this? <laughs> Do you think Dave loves this? I love it. I'm falling you love in love it. with it. You love it. Well, it's last so year we got clear. to do Peter and the Wolf mm -hmm. and talk about memorable melodies, you know. Uh, but it survived all these years. Yeah. The, f the concert is Sunday at 2 o'clock at the Holland Performing Arts Center downtown. Tickets are $12. Just More 12. evidence of accessibility from the Omaha Symphony. And we encourage you to keep in touch with the organization online at omahasymphony.org. Dave, all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Adam, Great to see you, too. Thank you.